nossa, oh nossa, assim você me mata. Ai, se você quiser, vai, delícia, delícia. I'm your commentator, John Champion, and summarising here with me is Jim Beckley. Hi, John. Hi, everyone. I'm really looking forward to this match. How do things look to you, Jim? Listen, this is all the ingredients of being a cracker. I just hope I haven't jinxed it by saying that. No shortage of support for either team as the game gets up and running amidst huge expectations. Nani. Well cleared. Ashley Williams. They're breaking free down the flank. Fifteen minutes have passed. Dyer. No beaten to it. Scholes. Rooney. Seeds a free kick now. Can they conjure something from here? Goalkeeper marshalling the defenders, telling them to stand their ground. Well, they won't be pleased it's taken so long to get their first attempt on goal. They'll need to improve on that. Clear. Now it's a great chance for a counter. Just the keeper to beat. It's over and by some margin. He's a confident boy and you'd expect him to try anything, but that was way off. Picked off there. Defence needs to be tight on the man here. Britain. Oh. 
Angel Rangel. Intercepted. Rooney. And now the counter-attack. Taking on the keeper. Well within his range. Well, having made the chance, the finishing wasn't good enough. Well, that was worth the effort, but it could have gone anywhere. Graham. And there is half time. Well, they've never really been threatened in the first half. I think it's been a magnificent team effort. The work rate has been superb. Very, very organized. It's nil-nil, so nothing to separate them. So, off we go then with the second half. Well, both defences busy during the first half, but as soon as fatigue sets in, that may change. Side netting. It wasn't the worst effort, given that he was being closed down quickly. Did well to get the shot away. Graham. Michu. Goals. Picked off there. He's got one waiting in the box. Arrived in the box. Oh, it's been cut out. 15 minutes into the second half. Michu. in the penalty area and it's taken with some style he scores and you simply can't give a player of his quality an inch he'll cut it Rooney Rooney he scores that makes it level here and there's still plenty of time for them to look for the winner He just makes it look so easy. He's such a threat up front and worth his place in any team. Nobody should be disappointed now for having come to the stadium to witness this, rather than just watching it on the television. Britain. Ashley Williams. Britain. Rooney. It's created a counter attack for them. Rooney. No, that's not going to make it. Now, seeking to get that ball in. In the box. Good opportunity for a cross here. That was offside there, and the opposition defenders look pretty relieved. No, not going in. Not a bad try, though. Oh, what a really good chance he missed there. That could be costly. Rooney. Surely he can't miss from here. Looks like he got underneath that one a little. 
in this sort of form, he could score a handful today. Rooney. He has to score now. The keeper comes forward and the ball ends up in his arms. The referee has ended the second half with the scores level. Nothing to separate the two sides after 90 minutes. So we go into extra time. Well, I don't think either manager can have any complaints, really, because nobody quite pushed for the winning goal and it always lacked that spark. The first half of extra time underway now. A lot of tired legs out there. A true test of fitness and stamina from here on in. It's all about who wants it more at this stage. Rooney. Surely he could put it away. Good try, but the direction was lacking. Well, they just don't come any closer than that. Rooney. With neither side able to find a winner in the first half of extra time, the game now goes into the second period. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. We're off. Only a quarter of an hour remaining. And it all comes down to determination and to grit and to who wants the win more. Well, we've seen goals on both sides. And although we don't have a winner yet, the match has been fairly entertaining. There should still be plenty of chances in the remaining 15 minutes. Let's see which team gets the chance of a breakthrough. Kicked off there. Ashley Williams. Britain. Picked it off. Britain. Chico. There is the whistle to signal the end of the second half of extra time and the scores are still level. We now go into a penalty shootout where either goalkeeper, of course, could emerge as an instant hero. As we go into the penalty shootout, the takers will be doing everything they can to calm the nerves here. As the Struck with some authority. He made it, it's 1-1. One, one. You could see he was really nervous taking that one, but he's made it one apiece. Calmly slotted away to the goalkeeper's right. Oh, the keeper's feet were glued to the spot. Into the right side. He's put it down the middle. Oh, the pressure was huge there to keep the scores level, but he's managed to control his nerves. And oh, no, off the bar. Dear, oh, dear, he's put it wide. Not a great penalty at all. Well taken to the right of the keeper. This one vital kick, it's in, and the supporters are on their feet. Will we finally see some heroics from this keeper? Time's running out, he rid off the post. Oh, what a miss, and that would have sealed the win for them. To the keeper's right. Talk about being under pressure, if he misses this, his team loses, it's a wonderful save, it's all over here.
That's decided the game. With neither side giving an inch in regulation time, it had to be settled with penalties. The only way left to get a result, however unfair it may seem. Well, they held their nerve in the end, and that was the difference between the two teams. I think the manager will be absolutely delighted with that performance. So, thanks to Jim Beglin for joining me. That's all we have time for this afternoon.